welcome back to So Craftastic. Today I'm doing a haul, which has not happened here for a while, but a lot of you guys have been requesting that I do more hauls and show you guys what I buy from the store. You may recognize I'm in the same outfit that I was wearing the day I posted the Art of Zen Tangle book. I'm filming this on the same day. I'm trying to get a bunch of filming done. Oh, but yeah, if you haven't seen this video yet and you're interested, I'll put the link below and you can check it out. But this video is all about craft supplies that I got from Michael's last night. For those of you who live near a Michael's craft store, you may know that they have an app and there's coupons on there every single week and there's also coupons that get sent by email and in the mail to your home. I went on the day where it was 30% off of all regular priced items and I also had a 40% off one item coupon. So I saved, according to the receipt, $38.60 with my coupons and that may not even include some of the stuff that was already on sale at the store. So I saved a lot of money and my grand total for all this stuff I'm about to show you is $64. If you guys have seen my most recent room decor video, I'm sure you recognize these. I got these frames for 60% off each. There's a black one, and then there's also this gold one with a white mat around the edges. You also may recognize this wooden dowel. Whoa, I got it, kind of. <laughs> Okay, almost broke a nail. Fun fact, my cat Leo actually loves to play with wooden dolls under the door. You stick it underneath and he will come and pounce it. And I think this is the last supply that I purchased specifically for that room decor video I'm talking about. There are four squares of 12 by 12 cork boards in here. They're fairly thin and I will have some left over. Next I have this pack of light pink glitter glue sticks. Oh no, I think I bent something. Ah, I bet the stickers. I knew when I went to the store that I wanted some watercolor paper because I ran out of my tablet a few videos back when I did uh, a Cinderella. I think I did the Cinderella drawing on it. It wasn't even a painting. But I saw that the door buster was buy one, get one free on paper pads. So I also am going to try this Bristol paper. This one has 30 sheets and I think it was about $10 and then this one was free, quote unquote. This one has 25 sheets. I think the sheets are a little tiny bit thicker than the watercolor sheets. I like to draw and paint on pretty thick paper. And the rest of the stuff in this bag is stickers. Stickers, stickers, and more stickers. Ah! I accidentally bent the sheet when I was getting the paper out, so I'm gonna have to set something really heavy on it and flatten it out for a while. I'll do a close-up of all these for you guys, but they decided to be really mean and put the planner section on a giant aisle, like one of the main aisles, not down an aisle, but the main aisle. So I went a little sticker crazy, and I'm going to try to do my planner this year. I didn't do it yet. I'm so, so, so bad. Step one, write and planner, plan to plan. The great thing about purchasing from Michaels is that it is a little bit cheaper than purchasing on Etsy, well, a lot cheaper usually. And there's no shipping, of course. This is a pack of 420 emoji stickers, okay? And I got all of these for 30% off each. And I think the regular price was about $4, so that's a great deal. I also got a lot of appointment type stickers and labels that you can write on. I got a lot of different colors obviously and styles. There's some that have pineapples and watermelons that are so cute, look at this. I try to get different color schemes so I can switch up with the weeks in my planner. I really, really need to get it, get it together with this planner. I got heart stickers because there's a Valentine's Day section and I'm a sucker for heart stickers. Some letters that are shiny. This pastel set of stickers, let me tell you guys, there's some in this set that have bows on them, but I didn't really like the other stickers that were involved, so I didn't want to pay for one sticker that I was going to use, even though there were like a hundred in there. I just didn't really need everything. Self-control. I really like this set because it has a paw print in case Leo has anything going on, and it has a barbell for working out, and a washing machine. These are adulting stickers. And the final two things I want to show you, one thing I bought a couple months back from Michaels, these are wood carving tools. I got these because I may want to do some more crayon carving in the future, I don't know if you guys have seen that video, but it was so much fun to do, it was very challenging, and I like doing things that are challenging sometimes. I also want to try to carve other things as well, possibly wood, I think that would be even more of a challenge and I don't know if I'm up for that, but I want to carve things with the carving tools. And this is from a while ago, but it is a giant strawberry squishy. And the reason I don't have it out in my room yet is because 
of a cat. I have a cat and I don't want him to eat it. So that is why it's not displayed yet. I want to figure out where I'm going to put it. I don't know a lot about squishies, so I don't want any of you guys telling me that I'm not a true squishy fan. I know. I don't really collect them. I just collect the ones that I think are extremely cute. This is the iBloom brand, and the website was actually sold out when I wanted to buy it because I didn't know about it. Yeah. So I had to purchase it from eBay, I believe, and it was not cheap. I don't remember how much it was, but it was like more than $20 for this guy, but I really wanted it. I never buy squishies, and this is like the one. I really don't know how to squish squishies. Woo! This is what you call slow rising. Back when I did a squishy rhinestone video, the gemstone, I was squishing it and I'm like, well, it doesn't feel as squishy because it's not coming back up fast and people are like, that means slow rising and it's more squishy. But I don't think you guys understood that it did not feel squishy because the paint was really rough. So that is what I meant by that. I don't know the big hype about slow rising. I like when my squishies come right back up, honestly. It's like fun to watch this, but I like when they come right back up. So I don't know, I guess I'm in the minority. I guess unpopular opinion, possibly. This is heavy though. It's the squish test. And it smells like strawberry air. So anyway. I really like this. I don't care how slow it rises. I just got it because it's pretty, honestly. That's it for this haul, but I did promise you all a haul on my vlog channel a while ago, and I am going to keep that promise because here are all the bags and stuff. <laughs> I'm going to quickly film this stuff. It's not going to be a try-on haul, but if you guys are interested in clothes, you can go on over there. I didn't think that I wanted to put them all here. I can put some clothes in the future here if you want to see that kind of stuff, but there's just so many. I just want to make it a separate haul so you guys aren't sitting here for 20, 30 minutes. I don't know how long it would take. If you enjoyed this haul, please give it a thumbs up to let me know, and I will post more in the future, definitely. I know you guys have missed these. Some of you guys have missed these. And if you are new here, please click the red subscribe button below to join the family and also click the bell button so you can be notified every time I post a video. I will see you guys here on Friday again for my next DIY or crafty video. Bye!